Hey everyone, Golf and Kevin here, and today we're going to be looking at what's in my bag for this 2023 season. Let's go. All right, so starting off with putters, my primary putter is a PA3 300 soft. I first learned about this disc through Isaac Robinson, uh, and I got his special signature run after he won uh, at Idlewild. It says on the disc here, 100% circle one putts that he had uh, with this putter. So that's what got me hooked on trying on, out this disc last year, and I just fell in love with it. So moving along to my throwing putters, I bag a Latitude 64 Pure, specifically the medium, uh, medium soft plastic, I believe. Zero medium, zero medium plastic. And I have two of these in the bag right now. This one uh, is very flippy. It's probably a little warped at this point from hitting a few trees. I can get this to um, hold the line very well. And so I keep that in for those purposes where I have severe dog leg right. And then my other one is very not is not as beat in as the other one. So it still flies uh, very straight. The next disc in my bag that I have is for forehand approach shots um, that I need a nice soft touch to the landing. And I go for the pig from Innova. Specifically, I believe this is the R Pro, the Pro Color Glow plastic. I just love how gummy it feels, and I can rely that it's going to sit right where I need to. And it's very overstable, and so that's what I want when I'm when I have a forehand touch a shot. I don't want this thing flipping over on me, and I can rely that it's going to go straight and fade um, every time. Okay, the next disc in my bag is a Glow Envy. I originally got this with the idea that it could potentially take over my throwing putter slot. That hasn't happened yet. However, I do love this for approach shots where I can count on this not to be super overstable, which it is stable, but not so much as a buzz stableness, at least that, that I've found. All right, the other disc that I love uh, in my bag, it's the Yikon Shoe. If you haven't seen my review on it, I'll put a link here in the top right. This is a very fun mid-range to throw with. Feels like control drive, fairway driver, uh, but it's a mid-range numbers. The shots I really look for are the S-line shapes that I need, a small, just a short little S-line where I can put this on a lot of hyzer and it will flip up, ride to the right and come back. All right, so the next slot in my bag is the buzz and I have the Scott Stokely version. I love how this feels compared to, I also have a few other ESP buzzes. This is ESP plastic. I love how this one feels overall. For whatever reason, it flies the best for me out of my all my ESP buzzes. I'll throw this off the tee, um, sometimes on a, a short par three. Primarily, it's been an approach shot. Um, so that Envy has been slowly taking over more of those shots for me that I was previously using the buzz for. I have the Innova Viking. My first disc I ever got was a Innova Viking DX plastic. I primarily use this for thumbers. If I'm in the woods and I need to get through a small little gap, um, having this shot really helps and it can definitely save a lot of strokes. So sometimes I'm in a pickle and I don't even throw full power. I just throw a little dink shot there and it flattens out, hits the ground on its back and just skips up to the basket. The next control driver, or I guess fairway driver I have is a stable one, RPM Hua, Huia, H-U-I-A. Very stable. I saw a review on this on the Bodanza channel, so go give that a check. I'll put a link. He describes it and how I have experienced this myself is this is a very, it's a stable, I can rely on a very stable end to this disc, but it pushes straight. So that definitely immediately went in my bag. I love the feel of it too. And then my primary fairway driver is the new Supreme Escape. And I fell in love with this disc. It goes so straight for me uh, with fade at the end, but I can control this so well. And it's just my go-to control driver at this point. I'm not throwing a lot of high-speed drivers. Um, so this is my main workhorse that I'm, I'm bringing out on the field every time. All right, so my first distance driver, real distance driver, is the Innova Mamba. And this thing, it just bombs for me. Pretty much goes pretty straight and then a fade at the end. But I've just been loving this as well. It, it gives me a tad more distance, I would say, than the Escape. Basically how I decide is if it's more open fairway, 
I'll reach for my Mamba. And if it's a more narrow wooded course, I'll usually go to the Escape. And then lastly, the Innova Groove. You get a lot of hate in the community for this disc, uh, but it was actually the first disc that I tried to learn throwing forehand. And honestly, my forehand throw is a one fingered approach um, option. And I just hold it here at the rim. And I know that's terrible form, but it's how I learned. It's how I start, got started throwing forehand throws. And I've just kind of stuck with it. I can throw this probably max 300. So I will probably need to invest some time into actually throwing with the correct grip. But for now, uh, it's in the bag as my primary forehand throw. It is a very stable disc. So I usually throw this on Anheuser, and that way it will uh, have a nice S-line shape for me. So I love the groove. I know a lot of people hate it. I'll probably get hate for this uh, in the comments, but uh, honestly, right now it's, it's in my bag.